Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So today is the day that I finally show you the other half of the new Suku Winter Collection 2023. I had the opportunity to visit Suku on the day of its launch at a VIP event. At the event I got lots of goodies and I also got the opportunity to meet George who is the senior makeup artist for Suku. I was so fangirling when I met him because I have seen a lot of his work, I've never actually met him in person and as you know I've been a Suku stan for so long. I've been filming Suku for the last couple of years now and it just felt like a full circle moment so it was lovely to meet you George. I'm really looking forward to you doing my makeup one day when I see you again. Unfortunately he was fully booked when I went to the event so I will be definitely showing you a look with George when he's back again in the UK. I've picked up the remaining pieces. I just thought I would let you know what I've got on my face. I have the new Suku foundation. I have some concealer and the powder that was just launched just because today is freakishly weird. It's October and it's a sunny day which is bizarre considering we're meant to be getting colder weather now and we're moving into sort of autumn winter so it's really really weird. So the first thing I've got to show you is the Suku Signature Colour Eyes 130. It's the other palette that I didn't pick up, that I didn't get in PR and I purchased this myself. It's the Suya Zoroi and it is the one that you've probably seen that has the gorgeous yellow in there. I decided to pick this up because not only is it limited edition but the shades just really speak to me. It actually reminds me a little bit of the new Prada palette which I don't have. I have made some purchases from Prada and I'll do that in another video but Today we're going to focus on Suku, but it did remind me of that palette. I didn't actually buy that palette yet, so I can't even compare, but it does remind me of it a little bit in terms of the colour story. So this is a gorgeous palette. So you can see here you have all these beautiful shades. This is the one that really pops. You've got this sort of brown shade, this grey shade here, yellowy shade here, and then a sort of highlighter shade on the inner corner that I would use. But it's such a gorgeous colour story. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to do some arm swatches for you of this palette. So here we go. Okay, so let's start with the first shade here, which is that sort of gorgeous light shade, highlighter shade, I would say. And then we're going to move into this grey shade, which really excites me. So here we go with the grey shade. Isn't that gorgeous? And then we're going to move into this brownie shade. Stunning. So the final shade is this yellow shade. It's a really rich yellow. Oh my goodness, isn't that gorgeous? So I'm gonna start off with the yellow and I'm gonna use that as an overall shade. Well, that really pops. There is a tad bit of fallout there because I think the formula is a little bit more glittery, but it's not huge. Well, that's really nice. I'm going to use this brown shade here as an outer V shade. Oh, that's cute. Oh, 
You know what? It blends so beautifully. And what I'm going to do is take that same brown and I'm just going to just put a little bit under my eye. That's pretty. So I'm going to take this grey shade and I'm going to use my finger because I think this will really make it pop. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the inner part of my eye. Wow, so pretty. It's really cute. And I am going to now take this shade here and I'll put that on the inner corner of my eye. Oh, I really like this eye look. So I'm just gonna go away. I'm gonna add some liner, some brow, some mascara, just to open my eyes a little bit more and I will be back. Okay, so I've just gone away. I've added some mascara, some brow, some liner, and I'm just gonna go in with that yellow shade. Just found my little brush here. and I'm just gonna add a little bit more To the center of the lid because this one seems to show that a little bit more oh, I love that sort of effect with the yellow and the gray and the brown because I've just done a little bit more eye I'm just going to add a little bit more of the brown on the edge Beautiful. So this is the finished eye look. Right, so we're gonna move on to the other thing that I picked up. This is the other pure color blush and it's the limited edition 145 BU2. And this is the color that's leaning more like a bronzer on me, but I think this is gonna look gorgeous. So you've got the color here, you've got the suku going down. So you also have the brush, which I don't tend to use very much, but it's there. There we go. And then I'm just gonna go into this gorgeous shade and just swatch it with you. So this is the blush shade, stunning. And then I'm gonna go into this shade here, which is the highlighter shade. And this is the highlighter shade. Gorgeous. Okay, so we are gonna try the blush now. I'm gonna go in with my Sonia G brush and tap into that gorgeous shade that I just swatched. Oh wow. I'm just gonna take the highlighter shade in the corner. Oh. It's really lovely against my skin tone. I'm just going to take the highlighter shade. Oh, it's so pretty. It's 
Wow. That's just me kind of blending the colour out. You can go in with a little bit more of a heavy hand if you want to intensify it. I'm just going to go in with a little bit more. Wow. That is gorgeous. So the last sort of two pieces from the collection that were the lip pieces was one of the Suku Vibrant Rich Lipsticks in Koi Kaj 119 and this one is that sort of rich deep colour. It looked really gorgeous on the model when I saw it. You can see by the shade that it's a really gorgeous wintry shade so I think it goes really well with this look. So let's quickly do a hand swatch. Okay, so let's try the lip on together now. Wow. What a gorgeous shade. Wow. This is stunning. Such a gorgeous shade. It goes so well with the eye look and the blush. Very sort of wintry. I think I'm in love with this look as well. Wow, 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 wow. So this is the eyeshadow, the blush and the lip. And you can see that they work so well together. This is a really wintry look. It's a luxurious look. It's a kind of gone out and come inside and it's, it's, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I haven't finished yet, or I have three more products that I want to show you, but what I will do is I will remove the lip shortly to show you the wrapping lip treatment, which is in the limited edition shade that I picked up. And I will have to remove my eyes at some point because I have these two, which is the Suku Tone Touch Eyes in 114 and 115. And I've been told that these are best used either underneath the eyeshadow or as a base or on its own. And I'd like to show you it on its own just to see what it looks like. So I'm very, very intrigued by these two as well. But this is the look with the eyeshadow, the blush and the lipstick. And oh, it's just so pretty. So I've just gone away and I've just taken off the lipstick and I'm going to show you the wrapping lip. So this is the Suku Treatment Wrapping Lip and I'm just going to show you what it looks like on its own. And then I'm going to show you it, the lipstick with this on top so that you can see sort of how they work together. So let's take a look at this. This is the 106 Kagaya Kyobo and it's a limited edition shade. So let's see how this looks. On immediately looking at it, it's got this sort of neutral colour. It's, it's really beautiful, like my lips were better. So I'm just going to show you this as a swatch. OK, 
Okay, so let's apply this now. Feels really moisturizing on my lips. Oh, that is my lips, but better shade, 100%. So I've just reapplied the lipstick, just giving it that sort of light wash. And then I'm gonna put this on top. That's lovely, it's giving it a little bit of a glow. So I've taken off my eyeshadow and we're gonna look at the touch tone eye colors now. This is the 114 and it's the limited edition. This one is called Fuyua Kari. This is what it looks like. I'm just gonna do a swatch for you now. So what I'm gonna do is just take my finger, like so, and just put it on my eyes. What I love about this, it's a one and done shade, and there is some iridescent movement in there, so it really sort of not only looks lovely on your eye, but brightens your eye and has a sort of reflective quality to it. It's really, really pretty. Just that kind of one and done shade. It's like there's something there, but it's not really sort of in your face. Feels a little bit sort of, not tacky, but kind of sticky as you put it on, but it's not like unbearable. It's really easy to use. And like I said, it's just a one and done shade. It's gorgeous. So we are moving on to the final shade and the last piece from this collection. This is the Suku Tone Touch Eyes 115. It's in the limited edition. It's in the shade Uru Washika. And let's take a look. So it looks like this. Just gonna do a hand swatch for you. Oh, that's nice. So again, I am using my fingers. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty.
really this is really gorgeous on my eyes it's a simple look that just works so what I'd like to do is just give you my last final thoughts about the rest of the Suku collection the pieces that I picked up they are really easy to wear especially for winter because sometimes in the winter you don't necessarily want to wear too much makeup but you still want to make an impact and you know I just think this works so well I really really love the different formulas that work well in this collection together. I love the colour stories, in particular the two eyeshadow palettes are just stunning. The blushes have surprised me immensely as well as the lip products and the tone touch eyes. Honestly I don't think you can go wrong with any of the pieces from this collection. Now it's available in Selfridges now as we speak. It's also available from the 19th of October in Liberties and Harrods so I'm going to get this out for you as soon as I can so you can decide which pieces you want because I have now explored the entire collection. It's been so much fun filming this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know your comments. What have you enjoyed seeing? What would you be picking up? I'd love to know. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you.